Hi everyone, our second video vlog of the year. No, it's not about last weekend's rain. No, it's not about this weekend's cold and winter. It's about Rideau Street. We hear often from you about what's happening in the section of Rideau that was not completed yet between Dalusi and Sussex. We're meeting with Vipin and Kim from the city to give us an update. I am Vipin Bansal. My name is Vipin Bansal. I'm senior project manager with the City of Ottawa Infrastructure Service. Vipin, it's too cold outside, so in, to make the experience better for uh, viewers at home, we decided to come here in the crosswalk of the Rideau Center. Big project coming. Start when? When will uh, the construction on Rideau Street start in 2020? We are planning to start early 20, April 2020. And uh, you, you've recently updated uh, the website, so if people go on ottawa.ca and they search Rito Street, uh, they'll see uh, the updated map of what's happening here on Rito. Do you want to give us a couple of the highlights if uh, folks uh, didn't follow the project? Yeah, the project is uh, from um, Sussex Drive to, to Dalhousie. It's a 430 meter of section. Um, and uh, we are adding the new bike lanes now on the north side between Sussex and William Street and on the on the south side from William to Ogilvy Street. That's the new change in the design recently we implemented. A great connection on the north side, a multi-use pathway that will connect from Rideau LRT all the way through eventually O'Connor, but in this stretch we're making our way to Sussex. Yes. Tell us about what are the features of uh, the remaining part. Obviously there will continue to be buses, so there are two big bus stops. What else is happening uh, along the corridor? Uh, we are adding a new bike lanes and we are adding new streetscaping infrastructure, new benches, new uh, FX poles, new garbage bins, waste susceptibles, um, and they're all anti-graffiti black in color. Um, plus, uh, once it's all built, we will make it like an inviting and accessible place for everyone. Um, uh, everybody wants to come to Rito Street to enjoy when it's all built. I agree with you. I'm excited about Rito Street. I'm excited because I've had to live through the entire construction from Cummings to the LRT to the Rito Center expansion. And finally now, this feels like a wrap-up section, which is the Dedouzi to Sussex, including William. I'm excited about elements that you've described. I think the trees are going to be a, a huge asset. I think the standardization of the street furniture as well. But what, uh, for from a, a, your city perspective, what are some of the complexities of, of the remaining section? Uh, the complexity will be uh, the access to the businesses because we are shutting down the uh, Rideau Street from Sussex to Dalhousie for the buses. There will be a detour in place, but all the access will have to be maintained to all the, for the pedestrian access to be maintained to all the businesses at all times. The buses will be on a detour. They are working on the detour. Most of the buses will be transferred through Mackenzie King, yes. I hope, and then uh, they know where, the, where they have to go. So if people are interested in learning more, the best way is the uh, Rideau page on the city's yeah, website? Yeah, Rideau page on the website. Or they, uh, they have my information over there, they can send me an email, we can easily answer their questions. Great. Hi, my name is Kim Copeland, I work with the Urban Design team at City of Ottawa. With the new LRT station, the expansion of the Rideau Centre, and then the work that's going to be done on uh, Rideau Street, uh, we really want to tie in, create this great gateway into uh, the Byward Market and uh, the work that was recently done on uh, George Street Plaza. So the businesses continue to operate. How are we figuring that out? When when are, when can we expect this section of William uh, to tie into the construction work on Rideau? So we've been working really closely with the uh, the restaurants, the patio operators on uh, George or on uh, William Street since we started this process last year. So our timing is coordinated to uh, to correlate really well with their their patio season. So we won't be coming in here until September. That's uh, that was based on an agreement that we had with uh, with the restaurants. And so later in the fall, once once most of the street is coming, we're going to come here and complete uh, the one look and feel. It is a bit different. Rito has its own theme. The Byron Market has its own theme. We have a public realm review that's underway in the market. How are you able to work with the various teams to, to give a, 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 its own flavor to, William, uh, to the William Street section? What we've been trying to do is respect the uh, the materials and look and feel of Rideau Street and also look at what was done on George Street Plaza but then create really that gateway feel, something really unique, something customized, something really fun for, uh, for this special space. So one of the things that we're excited about is the overhead catenary lighting. Yes. 
I know that that's one of the things I, 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 I you and I worked on, <laughs> but specifically pulling a, a theme here through yeah. uh, the area to give it a plaza uh, and a, a unique flavor. Yeah, really a pedestrian feel, a place where people feel like it's a vibrant patio area. It's, uh, it really lends itself to wanting to come between uh, Rideau Street and uh, and the market. An equalizer. An a, equalizer. A, a gateway into the market, yet uh, the, the, the uniqueness that Rideau Street will have to offer. Absolutely.